Sports, where representatives from the AFC and NFC will square off. It's the Denver Broncos and the New Orleans Saints on Thursday night primetime. It's a building that's meant so much to the city of New Orleans and all of its residents over the years. And our coverage of the NFL has brought us to it, Caesars Superdome. Welcome to another entertaining matchup, folks. Kate Scott, Brock Heward on the call in this one. Brock, a couple of running backs down on the field who can really take over their offenses when they get in the groove. And I think that's going to be the ultimate goal of both of these offenses, right? I mean, there's just no confusion about it. They want to get their belt cow in that groove and get them going. Find that rhythm where they're ripping off chunk yardage run after run and then just keep on feeding that beast. In a game like this, Whichever offense can get that rhythm and run game going first is likely going to be your winner. Personnel is out. Everyone's ready to get this one going. And here we go from New Orleans. Here's Traymond Smith with the return. And in the end, he's able to get it to what used to be a touchback. It's at the 25 after the return. So the Broncos offense getting set for their first drive. They'll be let out by the final quarterback taken in the first round of this year's draft. A lot of experience from Oregon and Auburn. It's Bo Nix. I know technically, Kate, that Bo Nix is a rookie. Jeez, watching him perform over 61 starts, five years of college football. This is a grown-up. This is an adult the Broncos are getting. So much experience, and he's going to be able to handle such a deep playbook for these Broncos. So their offense out now to get this game started. It's first and ten. Nick's off the play action. He gets it complete to Josh Reynolds. And he has it up towards midfield before he's taken down at the 47. They manage 22 on the rip and a first down. You know what I like about that, Kate? I like that they're not coming out slow. They're willing to go with some looks here that will yield big yardage down the field instead of just settling for dinking and dunking the ball. Play action with Nix. Short throw is dropped. This one's incomplete. His first target doesn't lead to his first catch. And that'll bring up second down. Can't cover it much better than that really well covered Kate on that play. There just simply was not a window for him to sneak that throw in. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Out of the gun. It's Nix. Escapes the pocket. He'll step up, and there he goes. They strike for 23 yards. And the Broncos will have a first down. As long as these are the results he's getting, they're going to be just fine with him calling his own number. He does such a good job of seeing the field and knowing when it's his time to take it himself. They have themselves another first and ten. Shotgun snap to Nix. Mims with the grab. And it's a nice little chunk here. Six yards. That play wrapped up by Demario Davis. That is the epitome of staying on schedule. That kind of completion right there on first down. Well, it opens up the entirety of the playbook for second down. And the third and short in your back pocket you can get even more aggressive and take that shot. Off the play fake. He's going to throw. And they'll advance this down to the five-yard line. They'll have first and goal to go now after they gain 18 on the previous play. That's just great instincts. Go air it out on second down rather than just play conservative and run it. They hit a weak point in the coverage and don't need to worry about third down at all. This drive has been excellent. A few shots now. It's starting with six as they come up on it. First and goal. Straight ahead with Williams. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. Well, they were hoping. They were hoping to get outside and meet those guys at the second level. Well, someone from the second level came to beat him on his turf. And that meeting didn't go so well. Now from the six after that last play. Here's second and goal. Motioning one of the tight ends. They don't get this snapped in time. This is going to back them up. And 
Everyone was set and at the line. The quarterback just didn't snap it before the play clock hit zero. Getting in their own way, Brock, as they'll line this up five yards further back for second and goal. They'll run here following the penalty. And he's brought down real close to that goal line at the one. We'll get a stoppage now. Looks like we have someone banged up after that run in need of some attention. Buckle up, it's third and goal. Williams. And he runs it across, touchdown. The Broncos finish up an excellent opening series. Javante Williams, the touchdown. Well, you couldn't ask for a better start to a game than that. The offense taking it all the way down the field and finishing with six. These opening drives, Kate, are such tone setters. It is why every offense loves to script their first 15 plays, right? Everybody knows what's coming. Allows you during the practice week to get into rhythm, but even better when you're that sharp, that crisp, and you finish off and get the early lead. Lots there to tack on the extra point. And the Broncos will jump out to a 7-0 lead. Here's Lutz set to kick this away. He'll now to return it. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. So the Saints offense taking over for the first time here. Leading them out in year 11. He's played 15 or more games every season in the league. A real Iron Man, Derek Carr. Well, it was another very statistically productive season down in New Orleans for Derek Carr a season ago. Another 25 touchdowns, almost 4,000 yards. And what I love about this guy is he is remarkably durable. He's played 15-plus games all 10 seasons that he's been a starter in this league. That's called the ability of durability to be there for you guys. Now, the next step in New Orleans is to take this franchise to the playoffs. And he can only manage one yard. The defenders were at the ready to bring him down. Okay, that's a run that's whole hum on the stat sheet. But if you see a bigger play on the ground later on, it'll largely be because of a play just like that one, softening up the front and opening the door for a bigger gap in the future. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. Running back sent in motion. Here we go, second and nine. That's caught by Chris Olave. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. They get 27 on the play. And the Saints are going to have a first down. I think my favorite part was the magic he worked after the catch. The way he took the completion and made so much more out of it by adding all the extra yardage. New set of downs for him from the 46. Kamara now on first and 10. And he gets it forward to still about a yard out of that. Sent down by Cody Barton. Manages just a yard on first down. Now it's going to be second and nine. I think one thing you learn, Kate, when you transition from college to the NFL, not every run is going to be a big play. Some of them, well, they're just destined to end in a minimal gain, and some of them will set up that critical play action for later. They go play action with Carr. Gets this to Johnson. Quarterbacks will look for their tight end short in just about any situation. They take away the deeper options. Well, there's their consistent source of positive yardage, the trusty tight end. Broncos bringing out an extra DB. Third down coming up. They'll motion him out of the backfield. 
Carr throwing on third. And even on third down, he sees no choice other than to get rid of it. Not the play they wanted. It's going to be fourth down. So many coaches love third downs, and they practice them so much, Kate. Why? Because they're the money down in the NFL. Whether it's a close game or already out of hand, coaches know got to execute and convert on these third downs. Hunter takes the field on fourth down, and he sends this one flying. Fair catch, but we can see both a flag and a punter on the ground. Let's see if this is a call for five or 15 yards. A fortunate break for them as they get a gift with roughing the kicker. Their offense heading back out to keep things going. You gotta be smarter than that. No reason to hit the kicker there, and that gives him a first down. Car off the play fake. It's an Orleans touchdown. He finds one of his great receivers, Brock, and they are off to a great start to begin this ball game. Yeah, it's such a positive offensively when you go find not just a field goal, but a touchdown on that opening drive. And defensively, whew, this starts to shake the foundation of your preparation and makes you wonder. What's in store? Blake Groupie to try the extra point. Right down the middle, it's good. And the Saints respond with seven of their own to tie it here early. On is the Saints kickoff team to tee it up and send it away. Here's Smith on the return. Good looking return here and he's got room. His return gets him to the 32 yard line before he's taken down. So the Broncos headed out for their second drive of the game. They will try to emphasize what worked on their last drive which ended Brock in a touchdown. It's a new set of downs for him at the 32. And the receiver's going to take this one on the jet sweep. Nice cut back to the right sideline. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. How about 29 yards on that play, partner, as they get the chains reset? Gosh, I love that creativity of the play call. Name of the game is putting the ball in the hands of your best, your playmakers, creating matchups for them to take advantage. And this time, not as a receiver, but as a runner. That is job well done. This is ahead for about five. Brought down by Paulson Adebo. Every once in a while, it's fine to be conservative on first down, especially when you get enough to stay on schedule and get a little something coming out of it, too. Halfway to the marker. It's second and five. Man in motion here. On second down, a run with Williams. And they'll bundle this up after a four-yard gain. Brought down by Paulson Adebo. Give him four yards there, and they only need one more now on third down. You know, that's a good run right there to keep the offense on schedule. If he can average that type of yards per carry, this guy's going to be more than all right with letting him lead the show. On third down, here's Williams. Broke through the tackle. And they bring him down. Looks like he got it to the 27. Three yards there and enough to move the chains. We've arrived at the end of one on Thursday night. Both teams neck and neck so far.
back to the Superdome of Caesar in just a bit. We're back, and it is Broncos football as we resume. They're looking at yet another first and ten on this drive. Nicks from the gun. That's complete. It's Javante Williams. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. They get 22 on that one. And that will set up first and goal. Year after year, the best offenses are multifaceted. It's not just the receivers or the tight ends that can make plays through the air. When you get running backs that can attack the middle of the field like that, man, is it difficult on the defense. They'll break the huddle and come up on first and goal. From the red zone now. And he gets in. Touchdown, Denver. The Broncos take a second quarter lead. No hesitation on that throw. He got the guy he wanted right away, and he got it to him for the touchdown. You know, it's great, Kate, to draw plays and have all sorts of different options, but it's even better when you don't have to get to your second read. His first broke open just like they planned, and that's six in the end. Extra point try now from Lutz. Extra point sent right down the middle. And the Broncos break that tie and now lead by seven. Set to kick this away. He'll now to return it. Oh, he showed some burst on his return. They'll have decent field position to begin with here. Rockies tackled just beyond that 30-yard line. The Saints headed back out on offense as we get a look at their receiver. It's a touchdown ball game right now, Brock. 14-7 as they start this possession. They've got first down from the 31. One of the tight ends in motion left. Throwing on first down. It's Carr. And no luck there. And that throw falls to the ground. No luck finding his receiver that time. And it sets up second down. They would sure love to connect on some of these intermediate throws, those chunk throws. Getting a completion like that. Well, not only does it spark your offense, but it just sets you up for even more aggressive play calling. Back to the air. Carr. Olave with the catch. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. From a great throw to a nice route and catch to moving the chains, there wasn't a whole lot not to like about that amazing play. Football on that 47-yard line. First down. Car to the air now. This is complete to Olave. And this goes across midfield and into Broncos territory. Well, that's a pretty similar result to a first down run play. Moves it forward, keeps you on schedule, and makes second and third down a whole lot easier to manage. Halfway to the marker. It's second and five. Throwing again. It's Carr. Has him on the quick hitter. And they're going to haul him down a step before the 30. You're right at the 31. That's 16 on the pickup. And that's good for a New Orleans first down. You want to become a quarterback's best friend? Do that. 
Turn a short little gain, a short little pass into some yards after catch, and that quarterback will find you again. They run it from the gun with Kamara. Gets it ahead, has about five yards. Brandon Jones up for the stop. First down play, nets him five. It's going to be second and five. You gain that kind of yardage in the run game, and you're going to gain the trust of your offensive coordinator. Plays like that, runs like that, set the table for everything else in the playbook. Empty backfield now. The running back motions out left. From the 26 on second down. Searching for Chris Olave with that one. And it'll be third and five coming up. You know, in the NFL, offensive-minded teams will call it a perfect Friday. They don't want the ball to hit the ground once. And especially on these short to intermediate throws, you got to count on those being efficient and effective. Pistol snap to Carr. That's caught for the first. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. The Saints can tie it up in the second after cutting into the lead. It seems like a lot of the time, Brock, even if the results aren't quite as flashy every rep, tight ends are even more reliable scores than a lot of receivers are when it comes to the passing game. Yeah, I would agree with that, but there's also a lot more real estate for them to work mm. with, right? Think of the receivers. they got to deal with the sidelines, that 12th defender. Many of these tight ends, they've got a ton of field to work with, and when they prove to the quarterback they could be a difference maker, he'll look for them. Groupie to try the point after. The point after splits the uprights. And the Saints tie things up at 14. On is the Saints kickoff team to tee it up and send it away. Marvin Mims now to return it. In pretty solid field position starting out here, Brock. He's tackled at the 29. Denver ready for another offensive possession. And with each team coming off a touchdown and scoring well early on, we've got the makings of a barn burner here, Brock, if they can keep this up. Yeah, and as a quarterback, as an offense, it doesn't mean you overtry, but you just know. Hey, man, our defense having a hard time slowing them down, and we've got to step on that accelerator. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Nick's now to throw. Complete to Mims. Good little rip there. Looks like about six. Willie Gay there on the tackle. That is a textbook first down completion. Sets up second and very manageable and creates space to take that shot downfield. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. Here's Nick's to throw. Completed to Sutton. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. I'm sure coach and play caller doesn't mind making the job a little bit easier. You know, play calling's a lot simpler and easier when you count on the offense to move the chains on those early downs. First and ten, ball set up at the 48. Up the gut they go with Williams. And he's going to manage a lone yard on that drive up the gut. That play wrapped up by Demario Davis. Only gets a yard there to make it second and nine. Hey, we know running the ball in the NFL is hard, and that play pretty indicative of it. Here's the key, though. At the end of the game, those type of plays got to be in the minority, and the majority have got to do some damage. On second down, it's Williams again. And once again, he doesn't manage much before getting brought down. A gain of two, follows up a gain of one, and now they're left with third and seven. You know, not a ton of yards, but still showing that commitment to the ground game, the type of run that keeps the defense from loading up in coverage and focusing entirely on that passing game. 
On third down, here's Nix. Finding Reynolds. And they're gonna haul him down a step before the 30, right at the 31. They'll get 18 yards there. And that'll be good for a Denver first. Good offenses. Okay, good play callers know how to utilize their personnel. They know where they wanted him. They wanted him on a route in space where he could make that initial play comfortably, but then go to work after. They've got first down from the 31. Now they'll throw out of the gun. He sends this one to the end zone. He's got it deep downfield. And he has it in the end zone. Touchdown, Denver. The Broncos get some late points and the lead. Cortland Sutton, the touchdown. Exactly the play they were looking for, Brock. They saw it, and he put it right on the money. Yeah, it really was a perfect play. This is what it looked like in practice, but more importantly now, to get it done in game time, that's what you're looking for. Amazing when it all comes together. Extra point try now from Lutz. Right down the middle, it's good. And the Broncos break that tie and now lead by seven. Here's Lutz, set to kick this away. To return this, Rashid Shaheed. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. Well, we've already seen some nice plays here, and we're going to see plenty more before this game ends. But you might be thinking, with plays like that, my guy's ratings should be better. Well, you're not alone. you got a chance to let the Madden ratings hotline know just what you're thinking. Give them a call. 1-844-MADDEN-1 and make your case for who should get a boost. They're out and set, first and 10. Working out of the gun, it's Carr. He had it for a moment, but a great defensive play to jar it loose, incomplete. Timing is everything in life, and timing is everything defensively. That throw was just a little bit late and gave the defense time to close, deliver a pop, and knock that ball loose. Couldn't connect on first, it's second down. Car here from the gun. This one is tipped away and incomplete. Good positioning to make a play on it. That forces third down. Oh, those linebackers. Those linebackers. They seem to be in the thick of every play and some of the quickest reaction times out there. He needed a quick reaction there to get a finger on the throw and change its direction. No connection on the last play, and now it's third down. Running right, it's Camara, And he cannot shake the tackler along the line of scrimmage. The defense calls a timeout, so that's their first. As they'll get together and discuss with fourth down coming up. Here comes the Saints punting unit. The Broncos have Marvin Mims deep to return. And he hauls it in right near the 40-yard line. The Broncos and quarterback Bo Nix gearing up for their next series. And eventually, Brock, one of their drives is going to fail to reach that end zone. But through three possessions so far, they have been perfect. Yeah, and in order for that to happen, somebody somewhere on this defense has got to rise to the occasion. Good starting field position for the Broncos as they get ready for first and ten. Knicks. Toward the sideline, and he's got it. And he's going to get past the 40 before he goes out. 
They pick up 20 yards there. And the Broncos will have a first down. They've run this 12-yard out route, Kate, at the Combine. Well, all the way back to last century when I had to throw it. In this throw, this is a big boy throw. This is a differentiator. Can you make that deep out throw on time, on rhythm, and accurately? Well, that was teaching tape right there. Throw complete to Williams. And they can't bring him down until he gets into that red zone at the 19. They get 18 yards out of it and a new set of downs. At that down and distance, this group was pretty confident the screen would get him enough yards for the first, and it did. And so long as it keeps working like that, I bet you it'll be a go-to play for them when they need it the next time. Throwing on first down, Knicks. He keeps those feet in and makes the catch. I know I could sound like a broken record when I talk about timing and getting the ball out on time and on rhythm, but these outcuts, it is so imperative, and the best of them make it look oh so easy. Second and three now. They'll throw again, Knicks. Boy, take a look at that. Look at him locking down his area of the end zone. They can bring it in close enough to take shots, but there are no easy touchdowns. Last pass unsuccessful, and they have third down here. Shotgun snap to Knicks. That one's incomplete. Had the connection, but some stone hands got in the way there. I think if you look up in phase in the defensive encyclopedia, that is a picture-perfect form of it. He was all over him in coverage, really forcing the incompletion. Third down pass didn't work, but the offense staying out there on four. Going for it, it's Williams. And all the way to the sideline before he gets taken down along the line of scrimmage. So the run doesn't get the yardage. It's a turnover on downs. These fourth down runs, it's all about want to and will. Want to keep it conservative offensively, try to move it across, but that defense was having none of it. And now they get themselves off the field. The Saints taking the field for the final time in this first half. Backed up this far and with such little time left, Brock, you got to imagine they're just going to kneel this out. A little less than 30 seconds to go as they begin this drive. They kick the running back in motion. Catch made by Alvin Kamara. And he's got a decent gain before being brought down. Just get this guy touches. I don't care how. I don't care when. Just find unique ways to get this running back the ball. And over time, he's going to make you pay. Halfway to the marker, it's second and five. This time they'll keep it on the ground. And he doesn't get much there on what turns out to be the final play of the half. We've reached the midway point of this one, and the visiting Broncos taking a lead into that locker room. Now we'll head over to Orlando, Florida. Check in with Jonathan Coachman for the EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Kate, sit tight. We'll get back to you and Brock in just a moment. But for now, this is our halftime report. It was former Tar Heel Javante Williams with a solid first half. He wound up finding the end zone on a touchdown run to help give his guys the advantage here at the break. As always, a hat tip to Coach for his hard work during the break as we're happy to welcome you all back for the start of our third quarter. Here's Lutz, set to kick this away. Shahid now to return. He stopped on the return at the 27. The Saints offense ready to start this third quarter. That passing game they went to in the first half, it's going to need to be firing to start this second half too as they chase this lead.
Offense ready to begin this drive, first and ten. They're going to start on the ground with Kamara. And he found some running room for a nice game. Call it nine yards. Looked like a first for a moment. It's second and one. So much to like about that run, Kate, particularly what he was able to get out of it. The defense, I think, feels a little fortunate they were able to track him down before an even bigger run and crossing that first down marker. Running back sent in motion. From the 36. Into the hands of Olave. And he has it up towards midfield before he's taken down at the 47. It's a pickup of 11. And the Saints are going to have a first down. They like to say it's about the Jimmys and the Joes. I think that's about the X's and the O's. That's a well-drawn-up completion that nets them a first down. Car now on first and ten. That one's incomplete over the middle. Well covered on that play. Really not a large window for him to sneak that throw in. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. Here's Carr. Pocket isn't holding up. They're able to drop him. And that pushes him back. Third down coming up. When nothing opens up, that becomes a pretty clear throwaway spot. I mean, that is textbook throwaway spot right there, Kate. Get outside the box, chuck it into the third row, and avoid exactly what happened right there. Because now third down is so much harder. This offense looking to convert as they come up on third down. They kick the running back in motion. Carr staring down a third and long. Wilson's got it. And he has it up towards midfield before he's taken down at the 47. You know, I, I like the completion. You never turn down a completion. That's just not the right throw to make in that spot to move the chains. They're out now, ready to punt it. And he's getting the call for the second time this game. And this is a worm burner. He did not hit that one well. And this one skips out of bounds and will be marked inside the 30. The Broncos headed back out on offense. Their quarterback returning to the field now. And as we see some of the highlights from their showing, his work a big part of why they're in front right now. Having a nice, solid game as their offensive leader. I think we can say he's had a firm grip on the wheel and has really driven them to this advantage. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Out of the gun, it's Knicks. Into the hands of Dulcich. And he crosses the sideline a yard or two beyond, it looks like, the 30. That's what you call efficiency. Exactly what you're looking for on first down. Textbook. It sets up second and very manageable, and it creates that space if you want to take a shot downfield. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. Knicks from the gun. Completed to Reynolds. And he's going to be brought down at the 42. They come through with a nice gain of 10 and a first down. Sure seems like he knew exactly what he wanted, and he got it going right where he wanted to with the ball off the snap. They'll head up first and 10 from the 42. Throwing here, Knicks. Defender arrives right as the ball does, and the hit knocks it free. Incomplete. See the pass, time up your hit, and jar that ball loose. Not a lot of players are hanging on through a well-placed hit like that one. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. He'll throw it yet again. Makes the grab in bounds left side. 
And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. They're going to move the chains after a big play, 39 yards. You know, Kate, we often talk about flipping the field in special teams, right? A, a kick return, a good punt. Well, an explosive play like that does the exact same thing. Look at the difference in field position. By hitting on that shot, you've totally flipped the field in the tone of this drive. Thinking touchdown here after that big play. We've got first and 10 from the red zone. Play action with Nix. Complete out to the right. And he's got it inside the 15 before going out. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. Throwing from the gun. Throwing quickly, but it's incomplete. I hate those situations, Kate, as a QB. I'm looking for an open passing lane, and I can't find one anywhere. He thought he had one available. Defense did a better job of knocking it away. So after that prior incompletion, we've got third down. Nick's now to throw. This throw is caught. And he drives this down to the eights before going out. Four yards on the play, and that picks up a first and goal. You're not going to last long in the National Football League if you don't convert a good chunk of your third downs. Nice find there to continue the series. They'll throw it again. Cut me in the goal line. It's a Denver touchdown. I should know this by now, Brock. I don't know if you're a Broadway guy, but there's a lot of names that belong on the playbill for this lead we've got here. But uh, but his name belongs on the marquee as he brings in his second touchdown grab. Yeah, a bunch of contributors all throughout this roster. No, not a Broadway guy. And with two <laughs> scores now, it's what, a two-score game? Yep. Easy to see he's been one of the key actors throughout. Appreciate the honesty. Extra point try now from Lutz. Extra point sent right down the middle. And the Broncos double their lead to 14. Here's Lutz, set to kick this away. Shahid now to return. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. The Saints ready to return their offense to the field. And they'll try for better results this time around, Brock, after they had to punt it away last time out. The drive will start out with a first and ten. From the shotgun, Carr. And he's just going to get rid of this one. Smart move there. When you saw the field, it's going to be second down. You really want those throws to be like clockwork for your offense. Every team needs to hit passes in that short to intermediate range to effectively move the ball. Couldn't connect on first, it's second down. Back to the air, Carr. That one's cut on the left sideline. The flag's down as he stops. Looks like this one's on the offense. Fighting all he could to keep his quarterback upright, but cross the line there. That earns the holding penalty. Running it after the penalty. He's descended upon quickly and dropped after it looks like a yard gain. 
Sent down by Cody Barton. They pick up a single yard, still well behind the sticks for this third down. Pressure coming for Carr. He's got Shaheen. And he'll get it up near the 38-yard line before going down. You can earn your money in the NFL in all sorts of different ways, but defensively, in a league where you're just not hitting as much in training camp, you're not tackling as much as they got to in the old days, when you can make a play in the open field, keep them short like that, I promise you some money will follow. Fourth down, and on comes the punt team, and the kick's away. And that fair catch brought in just beyond the 30-yard line. The Broncos running their offense out once again. And taking a look at these highlights, Brock, just a reminder of the type of game that they have had throwing the football. It really has been the key to their success. Yeah, they've just not only stayed on schedule here, Kate. Man, they've made some music, right? Great mm. rhythm. Yeah. Not just ahead of schedule, but huge plays that follow. We've seen a lot of different looks and wrinkles throughout this performance, and it's been a joy to watch. Ball at the 33 for first down. Here's Nix. Mims with the ground. Touchdown, Denver! The Broncos stretch their lead to a three-score advantage. I love plays like this, Brock. Sometimes you just got to ask your dude, show me what you got, man. Show off those wheels, and he did just that. Yeah, beauty in simplicity, right? Yep. Now, when you run that fly route, you got to win right from the jump. Uh -huh. and you got to protect yourself from the sideline, too. Don't get pushed to the boundary. Keep your quarterback room to throw it up, and you can find pay dirt. Extra point try now from Lutz. The point after splits the uprights. And the Broncos stretch their lead to 21. Here's Lutz, set to kick this away. He'll now to return it. And pretty solid field position starting out here, Brock. He's tackled at the 29. The New Orleans offense set to go now. They're down 21 now after that last score and in need of a comeback as we work through this game. Drive starts out with a first and ten. They go play action with Carr. That's into the hands of Moreau. And they limit the damage just a few yards on that game. In on the tackles, Jonathan Cooper. He's just one of those guys, Kate. Even when he's not open, he's still a target thanks to that physicality and his ability to just play bully ball. They don't like forcing into coverage, but sometimes when you got a bully like him that can create space, you just find a way to get him the ball. Here's second and seven. Pocket isn't holding up. They're able to drop him. And that pushes him back. Third down coming up. This is a time where you get in that huddle and you just look at one another and say, hey, let's get back in rhythm. Get back in rhythm. Get something good to feel good about. Sure, you'd love to get the first down, but more than anything, just find a positive play after a huge sack. We've reached the end of the third quarter on this Thursday night. It's Saints ball as we start the fourth, but any efforts might just be futile facing that deficit.
Third down. Broncos loading up that secondary. They're in the dime here. Carr back to throw. This is complete to Olave. The Saints get it back to within two possessions. Chris Olave with the touchdown. So sensational work by the skill man there, Brock. Anytime you can make your quarterback look that good, you know he appreciates it. <laughs> That's a quarterback's best friend, no question. <laughs> but on the other side, gosh, defensively, you got to get that, that skill player down. Period, yeah. end of story. You can't give up that much yards after catch. Groupie to try the point after. Right down the middle, it's good. And the Saints get it back to a 14-point game. On is the Saints kickoff team to tee it up and send it away. Here's Smith on the return. The return manages to get just beyond the 30. The Broncos ready for their next series. Let out on offense by their quarterback. And he'll be happy to keep letting it fly as much as he has all game. Look at these numbers. They show just how effective he's been in captaining this offense. They've got first down from the 31. Here's Williams to start the drive. And they limit this to a minimal gain to around the 34. Three yards on the first down play, and that brings up second and seven. You know, they got some positive yards. That's a good thing. But too many plays like that, it just is too hard to pile together, get first downs, gets the better defenses in this league. Shotgun snap to Knicks. That one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. Portland Sutton, the man he was after. And that makes it third down. I think that was a throw, Kate, that just came a little bit too late. What it did is it gave that defense time to come up and deliver a pop and knock the ball loose before he could secure it fully. On third down, here's Nix. He's on the move. He'll make a bid for it on the ground. And he slides down with enough to pick up that first. Pickup of 12 on that play. And that'll be good for a Denver first. You know, Kate, back in the day, we had a slip and slide to practice for moments just like that. Actually practicing how to slide and get out of harm's way. Nice gain on the play. And denied that defense yet another chance to take a shot on him. Williams now on first and ten. And he powers through the middle for a gain of four. He'll expect more from himself on those type of plays, but there is nobody that's going to complain about that one. If you can do math, four plus four plus four equals a first down. Second and six coming up here. Shotgun snap, looking to throw. Has him on the quick hitter. And he'll cross the 50 and start pushing onto the opposing side of the field. This defense didn't give up contain there, Kate. That was an instance where the more exciting plays were taken away downfield. And even looking to the tight end wasn't going to net them much. The Saints had a fifth defensive back here. Third down coming up. Running for the marker with Williams. And he's dropped just short of the marker, maybe a yard away.
Broncos looking at a punt on fourth down, and Riley Dixon on the handle that. So this one goes out of bounds inside the 20, but not by much. They're giving him the 18-yard line. The Saints and Chris Olave ready to take over once again on offense. And he has kept his pace up in the second half. His quarterback more than happy to keep throwing it his way, considering what he's been able to do with his looks all game. They're out and set. First and ten. Car here from the gun. Can't connect over the middle. It's incomplete. Hey, uh, Mr. Quarterback down there, uh, that's a throw that's got to go somewhere else. Double coverage was waiting for it. QB super fortunate that ball wasn't picked. An incompletion, still pretty good for the defense, too. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. Working out of the gun, it's Carr. That'll be caught, it's Jamal Williams. And he'll get it out to the 34 before he's tracked down. 16 yards on the play. And that's good for a New Orleans first down. Nice to see that connection, that chemistry working between the two of them. Here's first and 10 from the 34. Putting a receiver in motion. Carr with it on first. Connects with Johnson. And he's brought down after a nice gain and a first down. <laughs> that is what elite offenses are all about. Why worry about three downs when you need only one? Move the chains in one play and keep driving that defense backwards. First and ten from a yard shy of midfield. Throwing again, it's Carr. That's complete to Wilson. And they're going to bring him down at the 36. That play gains 15, and it moves the sticks. I love throwing on first down. And when you see a first down pass just like that, it's taking advantage of a matchup you plan for, and you go out and execute. Offense up to the line fast. Throwing on first down, it's Carr. He'll dump this one off to his running back complete. And he runs this to the 25 before being brought down. They come through with a nice gain there. Gain of 10, first down. Move the chains. Got to move them chains. Build momentum and keep that defense on its heels. Moving quickly, trying to get set again. Car now on first and 10. He finds Johnson. And they have this down to the 11 before being marked down. They'll get 14 yards and a new set of downs. It sure seemed like he knew exactly where he was going with that right off the snap. Offense in the hurry up here. From the red zone now. And he will score. It's a New Orleans touchdown. The Saints now within one score in the fourth. All right, so the offense does its job, Brock. Now they need their defense to give them a chance to overcome that big deficit. The momentum in the building's clearly changed. We can feel it here in the booth, but you're right. It's now up to the defense to make a stop and give them a chance. Groupie to try the point after. Extra point sent right down the middle. And the Saints chop the lead in half. It's down to seven. And just like that, we're back to a one-possession ball game as the kickoff is away. Here's Smith on the return. He stopped on the return at the 27. 
Denver set to take the field on offense. And after that touchdown, cut their lead back to one score, Bronk. A response in order as they take over. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. Drive begins with a run. It's Williams. And the power play up the gut only results in two yards. If there's ever a play we could call garden variety in the NFL, <laughs> I think we just saw it right there. That's an uneventful run and a pretty sound stop there defensively. So that brings us to the two-minute warning in New Orleans. Broncos feeling lucky with a seven-point lead. Eight yards to go. Let's see how they approach this second down. They stay on the ground with Williams. And that tackle stops him after a solid game. So quickly the defense burns a timeout here. 157 remaining in the game. Third and four coming up now. Here's a give up the middle now to their fullback. And he's going to get this up close to the 40 before going out. Five yards on that play and enough for a new set of downs. Okay, you know me, I can't resist. I thought we might have needed the old Gene Steratore index card down there. <laughs> Making a really close measurement to see if he got the first down or not. But in the end, well, the right call was made. He got just enough to move the chains. Straight ahead with Williams. And they try to power it forward, but only a couple of yards there. We have a timeout here. Second one taken by New Orleans. As they'll meet and decide what to do on this second down. before getting brought down. The Saints call their third and final timeout. That's all they had, so the offense free to start running the clock down now. Let's see what they draw up on this third and seven. This is Williams. And he'll have it down to the 44-yard line. The end result there, 15 yards and a first. That's a BYOB. you got to be your own blocker. It would have taken the entire defense piling on to stop him from getting that first down. Well done. Victory formation here. Looks like they're going to take a knee on first down. Your favorite formation, right, Brock? The victory formation here as he takes a knee. There's still some time to bleed off the clock, but the important factor is that the defense is helpless to stop it. You could just run that clock down as far as you're able and take off every single second. A kneel down here, and they can start to celebrate this win. The Broncos to a knee and let the clock run out on this win. Nothing left to do now, Kate, but celebrate on one side and watch on hopelessly from the other. What a hard-fought effort to get to this spot, and now you can enjoy the victory. So the Broncos ride out of here with a win on the road. This is the type of game everyone was hoping they'd see when they entered this stadium, Brock, you and I included. A close one that went all the way down to the final whistle. And, Kay, this is one of the bigger adjustments a college player has to make to the NFL. In college, you get a lot of blowouts. The NFL, 
every game you get calloused because mm. you know more often than not they'll be like this a one possession game that's not about how you start it's all about how you finish so for Brock Heward, our incredible crew, everybody here at EA Sports, I'm Kate Scott signing off. We'll see you next time. The Broncos are winners as we say so long from New Orleans.